Welcome back to a special edition of the Raider Report. I'm Lenny Reich, pleased to be joined today by head baseball coach Paul Hesse as we talk a little Mount Union baseball. Well, coach, it's cold outside now, but it won't be that long in the future that we'll be out on the field playing baseball. And last year, the Raiders had a fantastic year. 28 wins, finished second in the Ohio Athletic Conference, got to the OAC tournament. Um, talk a little bit about last year and how your team really came together on the field. Well, last year, Lenny, uh, you know, basically we started out with our spring trip and uh, really didn't know what to expect. You know, we had a good year the previous year with a young bunch of guys and then had an opportunity to uh, kind of put things in place as we went forward with our spring schedule and uh, finished with a 7-2 and two mark down there. And that kind of, uh, kind of set the uh, tone for the rest of the season. I think we had a lot of confidence coming out of uh, our spring trip and then it basically went into our our uh, our uh, non-conference schedule, and then obviously when we got into league, uh, you know, at that point in time, we had a lot of confidence confidence in ourselves as it related to our performance on the field, and uh, so. You know, the kids did a great job. Fantastic. Yeah, you were the only team in the league to get a win against Marietta, and they would go on to win the national championship in a, in a conference, the OAC, that's always very competitive in baseball. Uh, you had an All-American in Connor Mathis this past year for your program, and you have a really great core of guys coming back this year as most of the team, most of the starters from last year, are back on the roster. So give people a little bit of a broad look at what's coming up in 2013. Well, yeah, there's a few things. Number one, uh, one of the unique things, it's the first time it's ever happened in my career, is that we have no seniors on our squad. Uh, basically, we're all juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. So we're relatively still young. Uh, the, the big thing this year is that uh, we have to come out and with the same approach that we had last year if we want to improve as a team. You know, I think sometimes you get into a, a successful season with young guys and there's that tendency to become complacent or satisfied. So as a result, we've been working hard on that in, during the fall and trying to uh, make sure that we stay on course to get better because obviously we are in the toughest conference in the country. You know, Marietta College uh, won the World Series the past two years. You know, Heidelberg and there's other teams in the conference that are very good. So it's a dog-eat-dog -dog conference. So if we're going to make strides in order to get to our ultimate goal of winning a championship, we need to progressively get better. Um, season, as you said, is going to start in early March with a trip once again down to Florida, play a great competitive schedule there for a week in March. Uh, you're going to come back here, play some great uh, teams from around the region uh, here, and talk a little bit about 23rd Street Field. Over the last couple of years, 23rd Street Field has, has uh, changed itself, has taken on a lot of uh, new things. There's been a great commitment by Mountain Union to improve the facilities out at 23rd, and uh, there's going to be a new addition this year out at 23rd that you can talk about with some of the things that have happened the last couple of years. Well, you know, uh, 23rd Street Field has a lot of tradition, and it's been there a long time. And uh, incrementally, we've uh, made adjustments uh, to the facilities to improve it. Uh, this past year, obviously, uh, uh, we made some uh, minor adjustments as it related to maybe dugouts and the press box and those type of things. This year, uh, uh, we're going to have the opportunity to replace our scoreboards. Uh, they've been there as long as the field has been <laughs> there. So it's just little bells and whistles, but that it'll update your facility but uh, ultimately uh, you know we want to do things that are going to uh, make it better for our players yeah there's been a, a hitting pavilion out there in recent years obviously like you said dugouts press box a new backstop was put in recently uh, windscreen on the fencing I mean the uh, the field just in the years that I've been here the field has come a tremendous way and uh, really is a great place for not only the team to practice and prepare for games but a great place for fans to actually come out and watch Mountain Union baseball yes and, and that's uh, that's something that we've worked hard on uh, obviously if you come to the game out there it's a it's a great atmosphere it's a huge park uh, you get a chance to see uh, you know, we tend to play a lot of small ball now because of the change with the BB core bats. That's made an adjustment in the game, so we've adjusted, and we've got the uh, personnel to adjust to that type of game. So we have big gaps. We, can, we have a lot of triples and doubles, and uh, it's more for an exciting game. You know, the sac sacrifice bunt, the squeeze, the, the uh, you know, the uh, slash, and whatever else you do to try to win ball games. 
Well, it's fun, always fun to talk baseball, and it'll be here before you know it. So for more information on the Mountain Union baseball program, log on to the internet at athletics.mountainunion.edu. Coach, thanks for joining us. All right, thank you, Lenny.